You still have not answered my DeJounte Murray question. Okay, what's, what's the question? Ready. All right. Are you making the trade for him? Are you packaging most of these guards to go get DeJounte Murray? What's the trade? You see, it, see the thing is, like, the quick thing is, is very much a wild card. The quick thing is very much a wild card. Like, what, what you're asking for from DeJounte Murray, are you not getting from quick? Not to say that you can't have more than one of those guys, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Fair question. The question, I guess the bigger question is, is Quick going to stay around? Do you think you're going to keep Quick around here? I think they could. I think they will. They could. Like, I don't, you know, the San Antonio thing. Do, like, is there a team out there that's really looking at sinking in, like, over $25 million a year to make Quick the starting point guard? I, I, I'm still not convinced about that. Would you pay Quick $100 million for four years? With the Knicks, yeah. You don't doesn't think mean, doesn't want mean, to do that? Doesn't mean he's going to stay here. Right? Doesn't mean he's going to stay long term. But for what he does for the Knicks, yeah, I give it to him. I like Paul Quick, is, uh, Paul Quick, I see you in the chat. You're asking why would I do that? That's not. I'm not necessarily asking what I would do that. I'm asking because those are reports are saying the Knicks are in, have been monitoring DeJounte Murray. Yeah. That's what we're talking I about. I like him. Look, you need... You need wingspan, and a lockdown defense next to Brunson. You need his protector, whether it's at the three or the two. You need that guy. Dante's cool. He's not a starter. Let him be a bench guy and come light it up off the bench. He's not a starter. He's been in the league for mad long. If he was a starter, he would have started already. He's a, he's a nice, fill-in, competitive, smart role player. Role player. Like you got to lock down that number two, that that two guard spot, man. The problem is, is that he's coming in and he's giving you more life than Grimes, and his Grimes looking more and more like a bench player now. So if that's mm. the case, you can make a case to go get Dejounte Murray, but I got to keep one of those two guys all, on my bench. I need some firepower. Like if I'm if I'm gonna trade quick for Dejounte Murray, I need I can't trade quick. Grimes, you, you know what I mean? Like I need one of those guys got to still be there. Well, Dante's going to stay here. I yeah. think it's more like, like the way I always look at the Dante signing was that it was also insurance for Emmanuel quickly. He's you got he gave him a 50 million contract for what, four years quickly. They haven't extended him yet. Yeah, I think they're obviously going to see what his market rate value is. That's why they're letting him go to restricted free agency. They couldn't come to a deal. But it was also insurance to say, look, if we lose a guard off the bench who can handle the rock, we got somebody in Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah. So the reason I'm asking is that if you're the Knicks, and not saying that you couldn't pay quickly and give him that same amount of money and, and have him on this team, but are they going to start Emmanuel quickly? Because that's the other thing he's looking for too, right? He's looking not to be a starter. Year. Not this year. You think he'd be? A, could he be a starter next year? With this team? With this team. You have Brunson quickly, RJ, Randall, Mitch. Depends on what you're bringing off the bench. You got Dante. You got Dante. Yeah, I don't know what the rest of the bench. I mean, you got Josh Hart. You got to go get another. You got to go get another point guard. <clears throat> you got to get another point guard if you're going to start quick. Definitely need another point guard. You know, go get Ish Smith or something. <laughs> no, I'm just playing that. No way. <laughs> you want to just make Clyde happy at this point? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah. Yeah. I, I look. Obviously. You'd love to get DeJounte Murray for sure. Do I see it happening with them? No. <clears throat> no, definitely not. I, I think the Hawks are going to go out and get Siakam to add to that. I don't see them trading DeJounte Murray. I think mm -hmm. they go get Siakam by the deadline. They got to add to their defense. Not subtract. But for the Knicks, yeah, you, you need a solid two guard and you still haven't solved that. The wing is, is all over the place, man. Between RJ's inconsistency and, and, and no real wing threat. And your two guard, you know, is, plays more like a bench player. Still got holes at the five. Still got holes at the four. 
I don't see the OG and an OB thing happening with Toronto. Never. I think the so Pacers. Then who's I think the wing the out there that you're going him. after? I think the Pacers need to get him. Um, can't really see it right now, to be honest. I'm sure Kuzma's gettable. <clears throat> I'm sure he is. You want to go get Kuzma? Get Kuzma and DeJounte Murray? Where am I putting Kuzma? At the four? Are you back? Is he your backup big? Well, no. I mean, if, if they really want to shake three. things up, they, they're trying to trade RJ. I like Kuzma. I think he's a really good scorer. Um, he did play some three, but also at the same time, he was playing next to LeBron James out in the Lakers. There's not somebody who's like LeBron James who's that switchable and versatile on defense for yeah. the New York Knicks right now. If if, he, if we had somebody, say if like I had a Pascal Siakam playing the four, right? I'd be more inclined to say, let's put Kuzma. Kuzma, three. right, right, yeah. right. I would do right. that. But because we don't have that, and it's Julius, you got to think <laughs> Him of... Him and Julius in that front court with Hart, it would be ter- with Hartenstein? Good Lord. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Can you imagine Mitch out there? Mitch would be like, yo, man, can he, I get some help? He, you'd have to change the team name to the New York Matadors. You put Brunson in there, Kuz, Julius. Matadors. Just, just turnstiles, baby. Turnstiles. The, 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 the turnstiles. The, the turnstiles. <laughs> With a subway token. <laughs> go back to that New York Knicks token uh, yeah. token logo. That's yeah. what you got. No, I would definitely go get DeJounte Murray. Absolutely. But I'm I, just saying, I, again, if you, you got to put... I don't know. you got to put their guards... I think they're still holding. I still think they're going to hold on. And and a lot of you don't like how the spider thing works or looks. I still think they'll go try to get him. The, th- the thing with, like, DeJounte, right? And I, I, it's, it's interesting, and I think about it because, not like, because we have the plethora of guards. You can, if you can stagger him between the second unit and still have Brunson. And the thing, like, I know people are going to say, well, it's not working with Trey and DeJounte in Atlanta, Trey doesn't play off ball, okay? Yeah. Like, and DeJounte is not necessarily the best off ball player. Brunson knows how to play off ball. Like, he had to do that with Luka, and he thrived doing that yeah. down in Dallas. Yeah. When we see at times, even when it's Julius or anybody else, he can go fi- relocate and do all those things, and he's fine. That's where I'm like, the intrigue in DeJounte Murray actually isn't too bad of a fit, in my opinion, next to Brunson. Yeah. You know, if you really were into the whole Drew Holiday situation, then this sh- this shouldn't be even too far yeah. off because you get a guy who's better at offense. I think he'd fit so, perfectly. <clears throat> and, and defense, he's legit. I think he'd fit perfectly. Like, don't look at I don't look at the, I don't look at Dejounte's issue be, yeah. because of him on the Hawks. I look at it as a Trey Young issue personally. I I think he'd fit perfectly. I just don't feel like they're they're going to trade for mid-tier until they exhaust their options with Spider in the offseason. Like, after that, I think that's the last the last one where you're just like, all right, if we can't get him and we're kind of just kind of stuck in this holding pattern, then we might have to think of a shakeup. We might have to move RJ. We might have to, you know, find Mitch's replacement. Or, you know, they, they might have to do something to shake, some, shake things up and get a little spark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, like, I really wish they could find the wing, man. Like, that's really the issue. Like, like if you replaced RJ, if you replaced RJ with, like, a competent wing, just a 3 and D player, right? Uh, it's a difference maker on this team. Like, yeah. Completely changes the entire outlook yeah. of this team because then you could just switch like how they do to Jalen Brunson, right? You just put a wing guarding him all day. You could do the same thing if you were the Knicks, right? Like if you had McDaniel's on this team from the Timberwolves, right. difference. Team is different. <laughs>